Hello, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to my domain, my little area where I do shit. As you can see, we got another sketchbook drawing video, and um, I've noticed some pretty cool stuff lately. Like, literally, like, overnight, like, my videos, like, these drawing videos started to gain some traction, which was pretty cool. Um, I was not expecting them to, like happen and also we're hitting 500 subscribers a lot faster than I was expecting we're actually um I'm already past 400 and we're, we're at like 497 or something which is fucking insane um because usually like on social media I'm not used to having like actual like sudden growth and I don't mean like growth on like just one video I, I mean like I've had like growth on like multiple videos of these drawing videos which I think is really interesting so yeah um I decided to get some drawing in tonight since I hadn't really done it all day because I was busy. But um, we got like some dog people here, kind of like werewolf. I don't know if they're werewolves, but they're just like these dogs and they're just like the... I wanted to do like my ballpoint rendering figures, but this time they were like animals. Like they're like actual animals, like dogs. And I draw a lot of dogs, you know, but I don't normally draw them in that like heavily shaded style. So I was like, I was giving that a shot. Can I tell you about something? So th today was pretty boring. Today was really boring. Uh, I had two days off on my schedule for like university so like I don't really do anything I don't really do anything on Tuesday so uh I woke up in the morning and I like I like I thought I got really scared that I dislocated my like my fucking leg or something like because sometimes when I stretch I'll like accidentally get cramps or I'll like I'll like uh, like pull a muscle or something I'm pretty sure I just pulled a muscle so like I I was really it hurt so bad like I I thought I dislocated like a part of my limb but no no it's just I, I think I just pulled something and obviously the pain has stopped now since like hours ago so don't know what the fuck that was all about but yeah and then I got a haircut today I've been needing it really badly so boom got a haircut <laughs> and I feel instantly refreshed I feel pretty good nice and short you know but with these ballpoint renderings, I feel like, uh, I just feel like I kind of rushed it. I probably could have just, like, I probably could have just, like, made it, the lines a little bit more close together. I'm using, like, two different types of pens. I'm using a Bic pen, like, the four-color pen, and then I'm using, um, Pentel RVSP something, which has a little bit finer lines. But yeah, I feel like you can't really make out what's going on. I feel like I needed to not rush it and make the lines more close together. But, you know, it's a sketchbook. It's not super, you know, but I'm trying to get better at, like, rendering a ballpoint pen and kind of making it look more blended, you know? Like, trying to see what I can do with my lines and, like, I, you can create some really interesting stuff with ballpoint pens. Like, there's a lot of line variation that goes into it, and I think that's really cool. And, yeah, I'm just applying some yellow to it as a background. Just, like, blocking in color. Pretty cool. Um, and then, uh... And yeah, um, later on in the sketchbook, um, I like flip to the next page and I use alcohol markers. So like the thing is when you use alcohol markers with ballpoint pens, it, it like, it, it'll bleed obviously, but like, you know, like, cause it's oil based and alcohol and oil don't really coincide with each other because of alcohol and water based, it doesn't mix. I don't know. We got, like, some Sharpie just trying to, like, fill space and, like, do, like, some graphic, like, stuff if I want, like, thick lines. And there's, like, these little dog things I doodle. And then, like, I ended up writing some text so that was just, like, <laughs> it's kind of cringy. But I don't know. Um, I, I'm just trying to fill the space. Make it, just do whatever looks interesting. I don't know. Half the time with these doodles, it's just going to be me saying, like, I don't know. Because, like, half of the time, I'm just, I'm just drawing. Like, I'm just drawing whatever comes to my mind. Sometimes I just don't even have a mind. I just turn off my brain and just like go at it. And you will see that with these, this, whatever this is. So I got the Ahuhu markers, not sponsored, but um, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I, I wish the colors were a little bit paler. I feel like it's a little bit limited. I feel like when it comes to like having lighter colors, they, they're kind of just neon. Like I feel like they're not 100% accurate, but they're, they're, that's my review. Um, but, um, we got, like, this guy, like, biting his finger. Okay, so I had to re-record a part of this voiceover because, holy shit, I was peeking the mic, like, really bad. I'm just using, like, my earbuds mic. I'm, like, I'm recording this on my phone. Like, everything is, like, on my phone. But, like, <laughs> I'm, so I'm just gonna do a double take on this. Okay, so basically this is the part where I'm, like, 
doing like the scratchy, just very scratchy line work, not like anything super clean. I'm very messy, chaotic, rough. I just don't, I'm not like a clean artist and I'm, I'm not of the clean, smooth variety. I just, I'm just, I, I just I have trouble doing that. I'm sorry. I draw way too fast. I, I, I <laughs> kind of to a fault, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm applying some, uh, some kind of a green color for like the shading. I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't have any fundamentals in mind while I'm doing this. Like I, I just, I'm just going with what I think looks good and just like rolling with it. Even though at the end of how this turned out, it is just like a vomit of colors, but it is what it is. You know, um, I'm, I don't have too much pressure about what I'm making just in the sketchbook in particular, at first I was kind of a perfectionist, perfectionist with it. Like in the beginning pages, I was really like keeping it tidy, but then I'm like, no, I'm just gonna like just make shitty art in here. Like I don't care. Now my thoughts on the alcohol markers, just using alcohol markers. I feel like I'm not as good as it as I used to be, but not saying I was good when I was younger, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I like them. It's just, um, it's just, it's very, I'm, I'm very used to like watercolor. So it's like, I feel like with alcohol markers, coloring with markers, it's very, like, instantaneous and very, like, you can't control, like, the dilution or the opacity or, like, any of the mixing. Because with watercolor, you basically have infinite amount of colors and you can make it, you can customize it very much. You have more control. But I feel like with um, alcohol marker, there's, like, less control and, like, it's, like, once you put it down, it's, like, you have to deal with it and it's just kind of solid in there. And graphic so that's that's something like uh, these are ohuhu markers and i'm not sponsored or anything i bought these with my own money like a while back i actually got them for my birthday l last june but um <laughs> they're just kind of like i don't the color is very immediate and instantaneous and um you, there's not really much like thing you can do to control the lightness like i wish there was like more pastels like I wish the pastels that I did have weren't so light. I mean, weren't so dark because they're they're kind of like bright and neon and vibrant. And there's a lot of purples and like colors that I don't normally use. So it's just kind of like, it's a little bit, uh, like I feel that the colors are too dark. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it's a, I'd like something a little bit lighter. I'd like to have a lighter and maybe I could get some pastels. I don't know. Um, but then the last part of this is me drawing like these little guys and just to kind of fill the page. Okay, I'm starting to think this video is cursed because I had to do another take. And like, because for some reason I recorded the audio, but like when I finished recording, it did not record. That's very weird. Cap cut, what the fuck? Okay, but yeah, we got like this little design here and I'm just like coloring that in. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> What else do I say? I don't know. And then like I'm applying shading to like the, the little guys. You'll see that later. But we got, like, uh, like, it's all very messy coloring. It's just, like, but it's a sketchbook, so who cares? Like, it's not that big of a deal. I gotta keep telling myself I shouldn't feel bad. But, yeah. Okay, that's, like, that's, like, wrapping it up. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for, um, the support recently, and, uh, have a good night.